Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is a morning market preparation video for October 5th, 2020. So last week we had a frustratingly choppy week with a lot of back and forth in the market, lots of whip, lots of gaps, and just really an uncertain an uncertain focus for the week. This week, things might improve just a little bit. We have a lot less news. Um, we could be very sensitive to a news cycle, but we have a little bit less to react to. So how about we settle in, grab ourselves something to drink, and let's prepare for the Monday edition of the Morning Marker Prep video. So this morning, everyone, we have a market that is trying to move up. Futures are looking positive this morning. And last week, we just had, on Friday, we had that willingness of the bulls to come in and defend. It was kind of a tough session on Friday, but we um, eventually saw those bulls bouncing back. So let's take a look at what we've got going here technically in the chart. If we take a look at the price patterns, we, we want to take a look right here and notice that we have broken that downtrend um, so far and we're trying to hold that as support. And I think Friday came in with kind of a nice little hold here of support, gapping down but then bouncing back up uh, by the end of the day. We still have some resistance in the chart to deal with. Obviously, we've got a long ways to go for a, um, you know, before we get really, really comfortable um, about an upside move. So let's take a look here. We have some resistance in this chart that we still have to deal with. But the good news is that we are holding above our 50-day moving average. We closed above our 50-day moving average on Friday. Saw a little bit of pullback uh, by the end of the day, as you can see, but we're holding up, and this morning we're trying to move higher. Markets seem to re be responding to relatively positive news that the president is um, recovering. So let's keep an eye on that, but holding above that 50-day moving average. Now, we still want to keep in mind that that 50-day moving average is not exactly, you know, in a rally mode. So if we can hold up here and continue to defend that 50-day moving average, we'll be in good shape. What we don't want to see is any kind of a failure back down below that. That would potentially set up a test of the 200 day. Um, obviously not the um, greatest thing in the world to even contemplate, but we want to make sure and pay attention to that. Remember, we are also still paying, need to pay attention to this head and shoulders top in this chart. If we can, we've broken back above that neckline. Now, if we can just get through some of those resistance levels in that chart, we should be coming back around here if that can hold. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, not quite as bullish as the Dow. As you can see, finished the day on Friday below its 50-day moving average. And we still have that 50-day moving average flattening out, rolling over. Now, bulls are pushing in this morning. As you can see, this candle here is this morning's open. We're looking at a little bit of bullishness. So we'll be up here testing that 50-day moving average in the SPY. And as you can see, if we run a line across here, we still have a considerable bull considerable amount of resistance to um, deal with here in the chart. And if we were to get a failure in here, if we can't rise above that, um, a break of this low would seem possible if we can't hold up there. So keep that in mind, that 50 is still not giving us that, that lift that we want to see. And there is a considerable level of price resistance up here that we're still dealing with in the S&P 500. If we take a look at the Qs, Q's gave us a little bit less of that warm and fuzzy, leaving us behind with a kind of an ugly candle here. Now, this could be a, um, an inverted hammer that can be a bullish signal, but typically an inverted hammer is going to be the only 
time that those are really valid is if they are at a bottom of a pattern pattern after we move down that inverted hammer can indicate some kind of a bounce we'll want to watch this pretty closely and let's also keep in mind that that 50 day is really flattening out here uh, possibly rolling over if we were to look at the three-day pattern in the price action here this is not exactly that warm and fuzzy pattern or that comfort pattern in that chart um, one might actually read this as a bit of an abandoned baby pattern we don't have the full open windows here on both sides with those long um, wicks in there but a little bit of uncertainty still remains here in the nasdaq so we'll have to stay pretty focused on that let's notice that resistance right here in the chart that we still have to contend with we are gapping up this morning, but we've got some work here to, to get through some of that resistance. So watch that carefully and closely in case we were to slip and fall. If this, if this does slip and fall, then watch that level right there as a possible uh, support area. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, one of the things that's really helped out the market and really helped out Russell, um, the Russell Index, is that we finally had a bit of a bounce in financials and energy sector. If we take a look at this, breaking that downtrend now finally, pushing up and closing itself above the 50-day moving average on Friday. So a rather strong response, just seeing that oil and financial sector trying to recover. This morning we're seeing oil a little bit higher as well. So that is pushing our IWM higher and actually one of the more bullish of the indexes this morning so keep a close eye on that you might want to check out that um, oil sector and we'll look at that in just a minute but holding up so IWM and diamonds trying to do a better job S&P 500 and Q's still leaving us kind of a, that uncertain feeling in the market let's take a look at the VIX our VIX has just been well really odd uh, very perplexing overall. Notice that on Friday, with that bullish move that we had in the market, we popped up here, we hit that 200-day moving average, and it pulled back. Even though we left some bullishness in the market, um, it pulled back from that 200-day, showing a little bit of... of reduction in nervousness, but certainly not um, that big reduction that we would hope to see in that fear. Now notice that we continue to be bounded by that 200 day and the 50 day moving average here in the chart. Um, whether or not we can get enough bullishness today to push on through um, this 50 day to the downside, I don't know, but let's watch that close. Still a lot of confusion here in that VIX and we remain considerably um, elevated. I'm running around here, 27 handle here in the VIX. I'm still showing an awful lot of nervousness out there and still that potential that this could develop into an inverted head and shoulders pattern. So not exactly um, out of the woods here, uh, so to speak, on the danger front. Let's take a look at T2122. It's the four week new high, new low ratio. If we take a look at this ratio, this morning's gap up could give us a little bit of a problem. First off, we are pushing right back up here into that bearish resistance area. Um, so we're running into that short-term overbought condition that um, can cause us a little bit of trouble. We'll want to watch this morning gap up carefully. Um, watch for the possibility of pop and drop where we gap up and then see sellers coming in. That pop and drop could be a problem for us um, if that does occur. Not suggesting it will, but if it does occur, could create a problem for us technically in the chart. So watch this area up here. Um, we're really going to need that oil and financial sector to start to perk up and that could really help us overall if they continue to follow through to the upside but watch that closely as we kind of reach that um, overbought short-term overbought condition in t2122 remember everyone we still have a presidential election coming up 
creating quite a little bit of uncertainty. We still have news and things. We've got FOMC minutes coming out this week and, and things that we'll want to really pay attention to. And the market is likely to remain pretty choppy and uncertain about what comes next. So just kind of keep that in mind. We could see a lot of back and forth here yet in the market price action. If we take a look at our economic calendar for today, we've got a few things that we're going to want to be paying attention to. And as you can see, um, today we have a very little on here. We've got PMI composite final, uh, not expected to move the market at all. The ISM services, which can have a little effect, we'll want to pay attention to that. And um, that service sector um, may be suffering some of the biggest damages in our market with restaurants and things like that shutting down. We've heard um, New York may be shutting down about six zip codes because of a spike in coronavirus. We're hearing from AMC theaters. They're just closed. Um, that um, could be a lot of loss of jobs in that um, area because um, movies continue to be delayed. So issues going on in that services sector, and we'll want to pay attention to that, could be one of the heavier damaged areas of the market. Um, also keep in mind, we got some bond auctions and things, not likely to move things around at all. Later on this week, we have goods and services and trade. We'll want to take a look at that. We'll have the job openings report. We've got the petroleum status report and the FOMC minutes on Wednesday. Keep in mind, um, it, it's not atypical for the market to kind of become slow and choppy ahead of an FOMC minutes. It may not have any effect today or early tomorrow, but later on Tuesday afternoon, we might get a little bit choppy um, in the market as we wait for those minutes. Jobless claims, um, like always on Thursday, and, so, and really nothing on Friday, so um, kind of a light calendar week. On the earnings front, we have a light week as well. As a matter of fact, today we have just one company that, um, and it is an unconfirmed report, and it is a penny stock, P-R-E-D, that's on the calendar today for a possible earnings report. Not exactly a notable and not anything that's really going to move us around. Um, we have a few more earnings as we move throughout the week, but let's keep in mind that what we're really doing is we're gearing up for uh, next week's um, beginning you know, kind of kick off of the um, earnings season. So here we are getting ready to step into the fourth quarter. There may be some uncertainty surrounding that as well. So kind of keep that in mind as we move forward. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But guys, before we do that, if you could do me a favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, the purpose of these videos are not to be like other things that you might see out there, trying to provide a whole bunch of prediction, hype, um, out there in the market. I want to be that um, person who's focusing on the price action and the technicals and the chart. And if you find that to be helpful, please do me a favor and click that uh, thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, and please uh, share this video on your social feed so that we can continue to grow the channel. Thank you so much whoever want, to everyone who does that. I truly, truly appreciate it. So some stocks that are setting up and remember that with these stocks that there is no recommendation to buy or sell any security. These are merely part of the education that I provide um, here and everyone needs to do their own due diligence making sure any trade works for them, sets up you know, for them and be really careful not to blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. Make sure it fits your trading plan. Take a look at CRWD. Now CRWD has done a really nice job of holding this trend. And as you can see, breaking through that resistance level up there, we popped through initially on a big spike, couldn't hold it, came back to trend came back through here, finally broke through again, holding that as support, and now is showing signs that those bulls may be ready to push this on higher. Keep a close eye on CRWD. 
has some potential here in this chart um, and I think there may be some upside left coming in that chart. Take a look at Crocs. Crocs had a good week last week, a little bit of volatility with the rest of the market, but notice we've broken through a relatively important level way back here of support. Broke through that and we held it. Held it as support. We've got this nice little trend that we're working on here and that bullishness coming in the chart. Now keep in mind, I don't know that I would rush into this with it already elevated three days in a row. Maybe a rest or pullback providing that next opportunity into that chart so keep a close eye on that last week i made really good money on uh, costco in this move higher and there's that similar pattern again where we break through that resistance we struggle around here finally make that move through that was my price alert uh, members of rwo right way options got into that trade and we made some pretty nice money on that closing it uh, before the end of the week. Now, I think Costco has moved up pretty substantially and we got a couple of days of rest in here. Let's watch this up here as we deal with this price level in the chart. I would expect maybe a little bit more rest or pullback in here, moving back over to trend, but I wanna be watching that for that next potential leg up. Uh, Costco is one of those real beneficiary companies from coronavirus as people continue to stock up and stay home um, from those issues, so watch that close uh, Costco looking pretty good I'm going to continue to repeat um, stocks like FedEx and UPS these companies are doing quite well um, because of COVID and everyone shopping online a lot of shipping going on so as you can see continue to move up now this has been a very slow grindy move but F, um, FedEx looking pretty strong here we do have some resistance still over here in this chart that we're dealing with as you can see so keep that in mind but FedEx is trying to hold up that bullish move trying to show a little bit of strength in the chart so let's watch that close take a look at ups as well ups also breaking through that resistance up here consolidating that move not ready just yet may have to move or slide over here toward its trend a little bit more and then we'll look for that uh, stock to maybe move higher let's keep an eye on some of the retailers retail um, had a good week last week and including walmart breaking through this um, alert area in the chart holding on to this little trend popping up in here now getting a little bit of resting pullback watch that in there if that holds that support we could see those buyers perk up in here their new buying program or their new membership program seems to be going pretty well right now and could certainly help inspire um, a little bit more shopping through walmart as they compete with amazon watch that close another chart that you might want to keep an eye on on the retail side would be starbucks starbucks perking up here now it's got some some work to do first off you can see there is a longer term downtrend here in play and a shorter term uptrend in play so we've got this little wedge pattern in here i wouldn't be at all surprised to see starbucks have to continue to wind around in here for that potential of breaking higher or lower but we should be keeping an eye on this any pop above that big downtrend any move up there could really bring in the buyers and perk that up so keep an eye on starbucks might be a good one for your list to keep watching um, other retailers that um, have been perking up a little bit take a look at like gps gp oops GPS had a pretty good um, end of the week last week and we're pushing back up here to retest this resistance high. Notice here it's a fairly significant resistance high and if that can pop on through there may be some opportunity up here so keep keep an eye on that. We also have um, stocks like UAA Under Armour finally coming around. Now this had some you know, some corruption type news um, several months ago um, in their reporting 
I, I guess, and I don't know what has come from that, um, but apparently they're working through those issues and we've finished, looks like we may be finishing up this bottom in here on this chart and we're trying to perk up. So keep an eye on that, breaking through that resistance here at the end of the week, um, any rest or pullback in here could set up an opportunity in Under Armour. And you know, it's that time of year where people will start thinking about those, um, you know, higher and clothing purchases and things for Christmas gifts. So watch that in there, it could start perking up. This is also um, in that pattern where we've got that 50 day moving average here on the daily that's rounding up. We're gonna have to deal with this 200 up here on the daily, but keep an eye on that. If that can poke through, hold in there, there may be some upside potential here in UAA. And a lot of retailers are in that same thing. Take a look at Home Depot, Home Depot, crawling back up here trying to break that downtrend um, we've got that rally back if we can get up through here and hold there may be some opportunities here in a home depot saw the same thing in lowe's a lot of strength there last but not least places that you might want to look um, like mcdonald's mcdonald's pushing on through i've been talking about this one a lot breaking through that resistance holding up here trying to push on through uh, for more upside um, something you might want to keep an eye on here in um, the chart. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic Monday. I wish, wish you all of the best. Everyone be safe. Be careful out here. Markets could still be really sensitive to the new cycle. Watch for that. And just kind of stay focused and flexible um, as we head into this election cycle. Um, could be a lot of back and forth and news and uncertainty uh, about the path forward. So watch that close. We'll see you all right back here, bright and early Tuesday morning. Everyone take care. Have an awesome, awesome day.